All right, hello everybody. Today is December 29th, 2019. We're coming into the last couple days of 2019, and uh, I'm here today with floor system test number 44. As you guys can tell, I've been really bad again this year, and uh, I have not uploaded a system test in like 10 months. Um, and that's due to uh, multiple reasons, but uh, I'm going to try to make this video as quick as I can. I've gotten a lot of um, really nasty comments lately about um, how I just need to shut up um, and how people don't like my talking. So I'm going to try to make this as quick as I can because obviously you guys don't care about stories. Uh, but the reason why I haven't been able to make um, a bunch of system tests is mainly because um, we had some seepage in the basement this year. It took forever to get it fixed. Uh, it was in the laundry room, and everything that we were storing in the laundry room had to come out in this area. So this whole area was blocked um, with storage bins and everything, and it took forever to get it fixed. So I do apologize for the lack of system tests. I haven't, um, you know, a lot of you have wanted to see these fire alarm videos, and um, I do apologize because the hobby certainly hasn't died or anything. My systems are still uh, very much up and running. Hopefully uh, 2020 will bring... Uh, many more fire alarm videos, but uh, nothing's really changed around here. I changed a couple small things around. Um, fire alarm shelf over here is still the same, very messy. Um, but mostly uh, everything's the same here. I do have a new acquisition to the collection. If you guys didn't notice, it is a Simplex 4603-9101, I believe. This is the... Um, remote enunciator for the uh, 4100, 4100U, 4020 panels. This enunciator is not even compatible with either of my systems. It's just more of a collector's piece. I did apply 24 volts to it and it does power up as it should, but it's just more of a collector's piece. If I get a bigger panel someday like the 4100, I um, maybe when I get my own place someday or whatever, I do hope to have a, a 4100 Classic. Um, maybe I can use this with, but it's just a collection piece right now. Maybe I'll show it powering up someday, but I love these enunciators so much. Um, and I found it on eBay for really cheap. I got it for like 40 or 50 bucks, I think. It, just like my uh, 46029102, it is missing the beige um, uh, trim plate, but... If you guys know where I can get one or the silver one, whatever, I'm still keeping an eye out for one, at least for this enunciator, so I don't have to have the bezel held on with tape. But anyway, nothing's changed except uh, for the devices on the 4010 system. I replaced the Spectre Alert for um, one of the Cerberus Pyrotronics EHM-D horn strobes. And uh, on the 4005, the CH-MC-W is um, still the same. Um... Except, I believe the only thing I changed with it is the coding. So now it's doing code 3 from the 4005. The EHM-D is on slow march. And hopefully I can keep these alarms going for um, a little bit longer uh, than usual. I just saw my neighbors leave and my mom left to go shopping. So I figured this is a perfect time to film this. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull both systems. And uh, we're going to get this over with. So here we go. 3... Two, one. Now I'm going to um, pause the camera. Actually, I'm just going to set the camera down. I am using my new camera, the Panasonic uh, HC-X920, so hopefully all of this is coming out pretty good. Hopefully it's picking up those strobes okay. But I'm going to set the camera down while I reset the pull stations because if I hit the pause button, it'll start a new video file. And what I'm trying not to do is um, separate the video files. I don't want to have to merge them together on Movie Maker because then I will lose the 1080p um, 60 FPS. So 
All right, uh, pull stations are reset. I'll put a reset in the 4010 and a reset in the 4005. As you guys can tell, I've gotten really um, accustomed to using this enunciator because um, the way I have this panel um, standing up, it's not easy to open the door um, with one hand because the panel likes to lean back or tilt forward or whatever. So um, anything I can do to keep this door closed and not have to touch it, I will do. Notice how quicker the, uh, the 4010 resets and the 4005. 4005 still going. The enunciator panels are still working. There they go. So yeah. Anyway, there's uh, there's that for you guys. Um, like I said, nothing really uh, new around here. Everything's the same. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with these systems right now. I'd like to still tie these panels together in some way, but um, like I said, my job's been keeping me real busy and um, I just haven't had a lot of time with this stuff lately, but as long as uh, we don't have any more seepage in the basement, I should still have space to work with this stuff, um, and hopefully I can get some more things done next year in 2020. Um, I definitely do want to maybe at some point upgrade the wiring. I, I was looking at Facebook Marketplace. There's a um, spool of um, fire alarm wire for sale near me down in Naperville. The guy wants a lot of money for it, but it's shielded. It, it is proper fire alarm wire instead of this, whatever this is, crappy speaker wire I'm using or whatever. I think uh, if I had better length and everything and the proper wires, I think uh, it would um, look a lot better and everything. This speaker wire is just garbage, even though it works okay. Um, it's not technically what you're supposed to use with this equipment. So anyway, uh, there's everything. Um, I don't think I'll make any more fire alarm videos before the new year because it is almost 2020 in just a few days. So um, I'll try my best to get some new stuff out next year. Um, I have this new camera and um, I uh, will try my hardest to uh, get some new content out next year uh, with not only fire alarms but the old stuff I did with uh, elevators and rail fanning and everything. I'm going to try to get back to that stuff. So I'm trying to make as much money as I possibly can this year so I can uh, have some time off during the summer from my school bus job. So anyway, um, that's it. Uh, hopefully I'll make another video before the new year, but if I don't, I hope you guys have a very happy new year. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and for like the hundredth time, Happy New Year. And uh, that will be it.